God, a crab almost got me. <laughs> crab almost got me. Oh, there he is, right there. <laughs> I almost stepped on him, man. morning dudes so as you can see out there we've got some rain we've got some weather planned on taking the boat boat out today I had the day off I'd plan on taking the boat out and doing uh, doing some fishing filming a catch and cook instead since we got some real bad weather coming in I'm gonna run down to the beach and I'm gonna try to catch a sand flea because I want to do a sand flea catch and cook man those little things look like you look it looks like you could fry them up man they're like little pieces of popcorn so I'm gonna go down here to the beach and try to catch a sand flea, bring it home and fry it up. So I've got a net and a bucket. Usually I would use a sand flea rake, but I didn't have mine today. Mine's in my warehouse and I didn't have time to go get it. So I'm just gonna use a net. Doesn't work as well as a rake, but we'll still be able to get us some sand fleas. Hopefully enough to take home, put in the frying pan. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let the, uh, let the wave come up. All right, and I'm just gonna stick the net in the sand like this. Oh, I got a crab. I got a crab, woo, yeah. Look at there. It's a big old crab. Oh, I got a crab and a sand flea. I got a crab and a sand flea. Check it out. That's my second sand flea. I, I got two sand fleas in there. Check it out. So I got a crab and two sand fleas on the first scoop right there. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let the crab go. Uh, that's just a golf crab. I may do a catch and cook crab on another episode, but I'm gonna keep the two sand fleas. I'm gonna try to get a few more and uh, we'll keep walking the beach and see what we can get. Come on. There you go. All right, the crab is home free. All right, we got the water coming up. We stick the net in the dirt right here in the sand. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Nothing. A lot of grass in here. Got a sand flea. Got a sand flea. Got a sand flea. Got two of them. <laughs> Got two sand fleas. Let's put them in the bucket. All right. Got a couple sand fleas that time. I'm gonna put a little uh, water in here and some sand just to kind of keep them alive for the time being. All right, I got four sand fleas. I'm just gonna walk and see what else I can get here. Whoa, look at the crabs. Look at the crabs. Look at the crab right there, crab right here. There's crabs all over the beach, dude. Woo, God, a crab almost got me. <laughs> crab almost got me. Oh, there he is, right there. <laughs> I almost stepped on him, man. Big old golf crab. Here's another one right here. Look, you can see him buried up. I got him. Oh, oh there he is. Whew. There he is. Now, guys, we call these golf crabs. There's probably an actual name for them. But that's what we call them down here. They actually, I asked a Marine Patrol officer not too long ago 
and they have the same regulations as a blue crab so if you were to come down here to the beach and do what i'm doing with these nets you'll be able to catch these golf crabs and uh, take them home and eat them they're pretty good i've had them before i think my next video may be a catch and cook golf crab especially if uh if the weather is too bad to go out and fish so hey it's a great it's a great way to come enjoy the beach have some fun and get some food at the same time all right little buddy let's let you go One more sand flea, and I'm, I'm gonna go to the house. I got one, but he's really tiny, really small. See him? Really small. I'm gonna let him go. I'm headed back to the truck right now. We've got four or five sand fleas in there. It's plenty enough to do a taste test. So this, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna fry them. There's no way I'm eating these little guys any other way, but man, fried sand fleas, that could become a new thing. We start seeing them on menus. Y'all share this video. If it's good, I don't know if it's gonna be good yet. If it's bad, then maybe not, but we'll see. All right, dude, so I just got back to the house. We've got our sand fleas chilling right over there. I've got my pan right over here. It's heating up. Uh, all I'm gonna do really is just batter these guys in some flour, some salt, pepper, and flour. Throw them in the, uh, on the skillet once that olive oil heats up. And we're gonna have, have us some fried sand fleas. Now this, I have no idea what to expect. I've never tasted a sand flea, so this is gonna be really interesting. Put these bad boys on. So I read somewhere that sand fleas are known to have parasites. So you want to cook them really, really, really well. So I'm really frying them up good because, you know, I want to stay away from parasites. But uh, man, they're almost done. They're looking awesome right here. Super excited about this. So we're about a couple minutes away from eating them. All right, let's take these bad boys out. So they smell like fried crab. Uh, I don't know if they're going to taste like crab, but that's what they smell like. I'm taking them outside right here to try them. All right, dudes, here goes nothing. This is the sand flea taste test. Could I be start? I could be starting something here, man. We may be seeing sand fleas on all the restaurant menus in the near future because of this video. Or it could be just disgusting and I'm not going to be able to swallow it. So I don't know. But let me just show you this little guy right here. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. We're doing the sand flea taste test. Here goes nothing. Okay, now this is very, very interesting. I told you it smelled like crab, deep fried, that way with salt and pepper. Got to have seasoning on everything. It tastes like crab too. I'm not even kidding. It tastes like a miniature crab. Man, they're those things could be addicting. Uh, I saw another video that where a guy cooked them, didn't like them. Uh, I don't know if he cooked them right. I'm not sure. He was on the west coast of California, I think it was. So maybe it's a totally different creature than what this is. I'm not sure. But I, I will say this. It's really, really good. It's just like... Uh, it's like buttery, crabby popcorn. It's awesome. It's awesome. So guys, all I did was fry this sand flea until it got crisp, salt, pepper, 
And I know you're going to say, oh, well, if you fry anything, it'll taste good. That's not necessarily true. This was actually really good. I enjoyed sand flea. And I'll tell you, if I don't like something, I mean, go look back at I hated needlefish. I hated pinfish. I hated pigfish. Um, didn't really like hardtail. Not a huge fan of Jack Kerval, but it was okay. Uh, so there's a lot of fish that I've eaten that I didn't like. I like sand flea. Love me or hate me, I'm speaking truth. I like sand flea. It's good if you cook it just the way I did. Deep fried sand flea. It tastes like shrimp or crab or something like that. Give it a shot. <laughs> So dudes, man, I apologize for not keeping up with my videos. I'm in my busy season with my charters. So, uh, hey, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get back on track here after July. I'm gonna start making a couple videos a week. So you guys be looking for them. Y'all stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good weekend.